Okay, hello, today we're gonna be looking at my favorite handwriting moments in films. Firstly, Heathers. I love the whole concept of this, of just a smart girl in high school who has this special skill of being able to forge other people's handwriting super well. I think that's an awesome concept and using that skill for bad. Realistically, it would be really hard for someone to write long letters the way that they were. Even a skilled forger, it's just really hard to maintain someone else's handwriting for a long letter versus if you were writing like a shorter letter. Also with a good question document examiner, you'd be able to tell pretty quickly. However, there are some really good freehands foragers out there, so it's not impossible. The other thing I liked was I really liked Heather's handwriting because it's very gorgeous and pretty, but it's also mean and controlling. At least that's what it would indicate for graphology. I just love that for her because that's exactly who she is in the movie. Number two, this is not necessarily handwriting, but it is a graphic form. It was in Last of Us episode three. You see a painting, I'm not gonna spoil anything, but one of the characters does get particularly sick. And when you see this painting in the frame, you don't know that anyone is sick, but as soon as I saw that painting, I'm like, oh my God, what's wrong? Because it's like half of the painting is complete. So it's like, it's it, like, it's almost perfect. And then half the painting, their wrist is just plummeting and you see these downward falling strokes, which oh, it's just like so perfect for the story too, because like the story is almost complete. The story is almost complete. And then something just goes wrong and it's like, ah, oh, such so tragic when the wrist just drops like that when the wrist just falls it's like the wrist is giving up whether that's from fatigue whether that's from a poor health condition whether that's from suicidal ideation or thinking like giving up spiritually and emotionally like that's that's what that would indicate knowing all that just made the episode like so painful so that was a great use of graphic for me, although it's not handwriting. Number three, Marcel Vachel. I'm talking specifically about the credits scene. The credits are this handwriting and it's supposed to be like Marcel's handwriting. The movie's adorable. Marcel is such a cute character and I love this handwriting for Marcel because it's got this like wobbly, unskilled kind of immature form to it but the upper zones are so large and the large upper zone would represent thinking morality intellectual discussion and i love this handwriting for marcel because he is a child but he's such a deep thinker so that's also why i love him having these huge upper zones like i i just love it number four a taxi driver the main character in this movie if you haven't seen it he's deeply emotionally troubled he's deeply lonely he has a lot of violent thoughts and he commits a lot of very violent actions and i love this handwriting for him and i was like yeah just feels right because the form is this mix of all caps and lowercase which tells you that okay something's off then it's a very neglected form you see a lot of the forms just they just feel neglected and broken which all of this would indicate like deep emotional disturbances and yeah i just thought this handwriting was like the perfect handwriting for a lonely deeply emotionally troubled but also violent person I loved it. Number five, I love Lord of the Rings. I'm also a huge nerd, but all the handwriting choices, especially for the different cultures in this universe, because like, let's say the Hobbits, they've got this super round, sweet, stylized form. That roundness would indicate friendliness and, and compatibility. And then the stylizedness to the handwriting is like, they do have a specific way that they express themselves, like in the way they dress and the way they do their hair, is it just reflects to me every everything a hobbit is like sweet compatible not particularly intellectual but definitely like a specific like style and then you've got the dwarves that have this very rune like blocky way of writing and i also love this for them because it reminds me a lot of like a very angular all caps which would indicate indicate like a very masculine strong a bit emotionally repressed frustrated like angry person i love this for the dwarves and the elves i think is beautiful as well because it's this very romantic form but it's also got these like unresolved lower zones which in handwriting would tell you that something is off in that regard and i love this for the elves because the elves are very beautiful but they're also like kind of creepy and there's definitely like something more there than just like the like beautiful 
elves that they are. I love Lord of the Rings, so I'm very biased, but I love their handwriting choices. Number six, I love the movie Catch Me If You Can because it's essentially about this guy that steals over a million dollars from the government via forged checks. And I'm like, that's, that's awesome. And it's based off a true story, so that's also very cool. When I saw this film, and I was watching him do the forgeries. I was like, these are the shoddiest forgeries I have seen in a minute. But then I have to keep in mind, okay, it is in the 1960s, so I should like cut him some slack. That was also kind of the point of the movie as well is like the forged checks were never very good. It was that this character was so manipulative and intelligent and smart and charming that he gets away with it. But I really like this movie because the forging that he was doing was like changing a number here, changing a number there, which is very similar to how forges and forged checks are actually done. It's usually like changing a date here, adding a zero here. So I like that. Number seven, Walter Mitty. This is a great movie and I loved all the handwriting in it. I love the handwriting on the form that he was filling out and like the bubbly all caps. Number eight is the Harry Potter series. All the handwriting in this series is great, but specifically I just can never stop thinking about Tom Riddle versus the Lord Voldemort handwriting in Chamber of Secrets. How the Tom Riddle handwriting, it's got like a few indicators of vanity, a few indicators of concealing something. And then when you switch to Voldemort, that vicious, angled, almost like violent all caps, which would, yeah, indicate a very like violent, strong, emotionally closed off and cruel person. Because these are two different identities. Um, for this character. So I love Harry Potter. And number 10, there's a lot of good handwriting in horror movies, but sometimes it's not very impressive. Sometimes it just like doesn't give scary to me. I'm like, oh yeah, this was just made by the prop department. Like I'm not particularly impressed, but I was thinking about the Babadook in the book that they have where the typography is just all arranged super haphazard and it's like, it feels off. It just, breaks every typography rule. Everything about this typography is unstable and it looks like the letters were placed like a ransom note or at least like the ransom notes from cartoons where you like cut out letters and like paste it. So there was like the unevenness and like unstable baseline of like all the letters being kind of arranged with no sense of order. And then also how they were all on these different angles which show how unpredictable this is. So it's like, okay, this creature, whatever it is, it's like unpredictable and it's super unstable and it is just creepy and it did creep me out. Those were all the handwritings that creeped me out or that impressed me in TV and film. All right, thank you. Bye.